Hello, beautiful people. It's that time again, and it's now a new chapter, a new season. It's a new week. We started it on a brighter note. Remind 27 days through the big kickoff. We're talking about the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. 27 days to the official kickoff date, and here on GBC News, we have started our build up process. And so, today we'll start off by bringing you up to speed on uh, the teams in the various groups for you to really understand. And then we'll bring you a little bit of team profile here and there. Then, as we continue with the build up, I'll be getting colleagues here who will also be going through with us some of the facts and uh, also history behind the World Cup, some sounds. Right here, something happening in Ghana. What is Team Ghana really up to? Everything you need to know, we're bringing it to you. But remember, the official countdown here starts today. is 27 days to the FIFA World Cup. I am Theophilus Sampa. Uh, we'll be doing this with other colleagues here as well. And also, you will be joining us via Zoom. You'll be joining us on phone. You'll be joining us on WhatsApp as and when it matters most. So, without wasting much of your time, I know you are familiar with the teams, but just to bring you a flashback of how the pairings were made and how the teams really are standing, who will be playing who at where and when. So we'll be starting with some of the groups. So we are going to group A now. Group A, this is how it looks like. So let me go onto my screen and then bring it to you. Group A, and so group A, that's how it looks like. And so look at it very, very well. So group A, here we have um, Qatar uh, as the host country. We have Ecuador, we have Senegal, and then we have the Netherlands. And so these are the teams that uh, will be in Group A. So the official kickoff, which happens to be the 20th of November, you are going to see host nation Qatar uh, really coming up, and then this group will be in action. So our main interest will be Senegal, which happens to be um, Africa champions. They will be here as the reps for Africa. They are among the five African countries that really will be doing it. And when you look at Group B, if, if I'm supposed to come here, Group B, we have uh, England, we have Iran, we have USA, and then we have Wales. And so uh, you need to really pen them down so that you remember because as and we're bringing it to you and also maybe we're bringing you some quizzes here and there for you to really tell us exactly which groups really the teams really and the countries fall in. So once again, Group A, we have Qatar, we have Ecuador, we have Senegal, we have the Netherlands, and then Group B, we have England, we have Iran, we have USA, and then we have Wales. So let me go and then give you uh, the rest, Group B, what really will be happening uh, there at that particular stage. So this is uh, how it looks like, so A and B. So we are in Group C now. Group C, we have Argentina, we have Saudi Arabia, we have Mexico, and then we have uh, Poland. So this is how it looks like. So for Group C, remember, Group C, these are the teams that will be there. Then Group D, uh, we have France, we have Australia, we have Denmark, we have Tunisia. So these, these are the groups that form A, B, C, and D. I'll bring you up to speed with the rest, but let's quickly go and look at um, some of the profiles. Certain things you need to know about them quickly before um, our time uh, really runs up from us. So let me start off by going back and then bringing you up to speed on this particular one. So for the national team called Qatar, this is uh, a little bit of a profile for them. So look at it very well. So uh, FIFA World Cup, so Qatar, the national team. So Qatar national football team is called the Maroon. So if you don't know, uh, this is it. So le let me just bring it up to speed a little bit. Then the uh, head coach, we have uh, Flakes uh, Sanchez. Then the captain is Hassam al Paidos. And then appearances, first time. So in 2022, they are doing it as host nation. This is their first time they're getting it. So we, we're doing the build up here. If you just tune in to GBC News, remember today is um, countdown day number 27, 27 days more to the official kickoff of the FIFA World Cup. And remember that as we speak, uh, GTV Sports Plus, GTV, Ubulu TV, Garden City TV, GBC Unique Re FM stations, and all our FM station lineup have currently are holding the exclusive rights to both radio commentary and then also showing it live on TV. Other TV partners will be coming in. They are still in the process of talking and to the consortium is there for the FIFA World Cup. But I can tell you an authority that the World Cup is live here on GTV. If it should start today, you watch it on GTV, you watch it on GTV Sports Plus, you watch it on Ubuntu TV, you watch it on Garden City TV, and then you get crystal clear commentary 
on Unique FM and all GBC regional FM stations. And again, for the public viewing, outdoor viewing, where you see people mounting giant screens, the right is also with GBC. And so if you really want to be part of it, you are a corporate entity, you want to really do public viewing of the World Cup, please get to the GBC marketing department quickly. And then please, it is about first time, first come, first service. So please come on time, just come in. Uh, arrange with GBC so that you can get the right. So no police officers, no security agencies will follow you and tell you that you are pirating um, such an expensive content. So uh, we are on the team profile now. Once again, national team for Qatar is their nickname is the Maroon and then their head coach is uh, Felix Sanchez. Once again, captain is Hassan Hal Deidos and then appearances first time in um, 2022. They are the host nation. There are more we'll be talking to you about in uh, Qatar. Let's go on and then let's check again for Group B. What we have there, we have enough. They, it looks uh, a lot and mouthful. So Ecuador. Ecuador is also in that group. So Ecuador, look at it very well. Their national team, they are the tricolors. So watch it very well when, when they are playing and maybe the acts you should understand. And then head coach is Gustavo Alfaro. So captain in Valencia. Remember this chap? Uh -huh. Then appearances at the World Cup uh, to, uh, for first time in 20, their first time was in 2002. They've been in there four times, but their first was in 2002. And then the FIFA rankings, they are currently ranked number 44. Remember, they are ranked number 44. And the Black Stars will come there and you see where we are ranked. We are the least ranked country. But again, there is still hope. So FIFA ranking 44. Uh, best results in the World Cup as the round of 16 in the 2006 edition. So their first, they've been there four times. Their first was in 2002. Then their best so far is in 2006 where they reached the round of 16. So uh, this is for Team Ecuador. We've seen uh, teams in Group A. We've seen the host nation that happens to be Qatar. So, Again, uh, let's continue and see how it looks like. So then we come to Senegal, 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 Senegal. They are the Lions of Taranga or the Taranga Lions of Senegal, Africa champions. So they will be there. And then uh, do justice for us. Raise the flag of Africa. Very, very high. So the African challenge, you will get time and delve into it very, very well. So head coach still remains homegrown coach Aliou Sisse. Aliou Sisse. Uh, is the coach for Senegal, head coach for Senegal. Captain is Khalidou Koulibaly. Yes, Khalidou Koulibaly. You remember him is now currently with Chelsea. Then appearances uh, three times. And then uh, their first was in 2002. Their FIFA ranking currently, they are the 18th best team in the world in Africa, number one. Their best result in the World Cup was a quarter final finish in the 2002 edition. Once again, the Lions of Taranga, we're talking about the Senegalese national football team. The Lions of Taranga, please remember and then keep it close to your chest. The day that we'll be asking for the questions and answer segments for you to win something beautiful, you can get all the clues here. So let's go on. So we're still in Group A and then the last team that makes up Group A, we have them here and it, it happens to be the Netherlands, the Netherlands. So... They are the Flying Dutchmen, the Flying Dutchmen. That's their national team, their nickname, the Flying Dutchmen. And so the head coach is Louis van Gaal. Okay. So uh, Captain Virgil van Dijk, uh, you remember this chap. Okay. Appearances, 11 uh, at the World Cup. Their first was in 1934. 1934. FIFA rankings, they are currently number eight. Best results in the World Cup. They finished second in the 1974 edition, 1987 edition, and the 2010 edition. So the Netherlands, they've seen it all before, and they are still on it. So that happens to be the teams for Group A. So once again, just a flashback. So that is it. Group A, we have Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, the Netherlands. So we are going to Group B to look at the profiles of the teams over there. And again, Group B, we have England, Iran, USA, Wales. So let's quickly go and then we bring it to you. So England, England. 
England national football team, they are the three Lions. Head coach currently is Garrett Southgate. And then captain is Harry Kane. Appearances 16 times in the FIFA World Cup. Their first was in 1968. So FIFA rankings, they are number five. Best results in the World Cup. They were second in England. So um, the, this particular one, we need to change it. So yes, so this, this particular one. So we, 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 we will change uh, this one. This happens to be the, the Euros event here. So once again, but the truth is that it is Garrett Southgate, captain, Harry Kane, and then appearances, uh, 1968, FIFA ranking. They are fifth right now. Then we go to the next team that we can see. It is Iran in Group B, Iran. They are the Iranian cheaters. They have their head coach as Carlos Cruz. Then captain is Isan Hajafi. Then we come to appearance at six, uh, first in 1978. They are currently ranked and 20th in the world group stages in all previous appearances. So if you look at them very, very well, Iran have been at the World Cup six times. All of them, they are in the group stages, but to progress from the group stage has been a problem. Maybe this particular World Cup would do for us and then we, we 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 move on and then we check this one there's wales 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 so that's how it looks like wales a national football team the dragons head coach is bob page captain is garrett bale appearances to first in 1930 FIFA ranking their 19th best in the world is the quarter final pitch so now let's let's look at um the the third group before we come here so we have a uh, group e we have Spain, we have Costa Rica, we have Germany, we have Japan, we have Belgium, we have Canada, we have Morocco, we have Croatia. But don't forget, uh, in the course of it, I'll be interacting with the gentleman here uh, in, in a few minutes to really look at how uh, things are going. They've been doing some wonderful things. So this is how the groups looks like. So we'll be bringing you their profiles as and when. So now we will be turning attention to some build-up news that is coming up because not long ago, um, the GFA and the Ministry of Youth and Sports were at the seat of government. They went there as, what, as part of their build-up as well. So they're going to present the new jersey, the Black Stars, will be wearing at the FIFA World Cup. And so let's go to the Jubilee. I was bringing you a flashback. What the president really had to say, he told them that I know you guys are doing your best, but I beg you, allow the coaches to work. Allow the coaches to work. So if indeed the president has said it, GFA must listen. Let's go to the Flagstaff House and see how the Jesse presentation ceremony went. From the 24th of November, the Black Stars will play their first match at the World Cup against Portugal in Qatar. Ahead of the tournament, the sports minister, Mustafa Youssef, has led a delegation from the GFA to the Jubilee House to meet with President Akufuado and present the new Black Stars jersey to the president. The GFA president, Mr. Ket Okweku, presented the home jersey and the away jersey to the president. He believes it is appropriate for them to officially present the jerseys to the president first. The president, with your support, I believe that the team will be ready and we are ready to make our nation great and strong. We hope that we'll go all the way because we have quality intangible assets. We have a quality tanker team. And I believe that with all the logistical support that you have provided up to date, Ghana will go in there and make our nation proud. President Akufuad was grateful for the presentation, expressing confidence in the team's ability to give a good performance in the tournament. I have a lot of confidence about the quality of the, of the people that are being selected. And I'm happy that many of the, the Ghanaian diaspora under your leadership are being brought in as much as possible. Those who have the heart of the country are being brought in to come and play. I think you've done very well in going out. I've been following it, going out to, to, to search for those who are interested. Let's give this all do our bit. Our bit is to create the conditions for them to excel. But uh, we're all solidly behind you with our reservation. We'll support your decisions to make sure that those decisions work for our country. The president called on the GFE to give the Black Stars technical team the free hand to work. Having chosen the technical team, Mr. President, I would also implore you, leave them to do their work. Their work being also to choose the players. I think that the people who run football clubs, they know uh, what it is that you require of a good coach. 
he takes the responsibility. Uh, if he doesn't, you know what to do with him. It works out. But what is always a problem is minister saying this person should play, <laughs> president saying this. <laughs> uh, the president tells me I should tell you that uh, X player should play. No, we don't want any of that. We have confidence in the people you've chosen. I think we've got a very good team. Otoado, Chris Hilton, and uh, George Watting. I think we've got a very good set of people to guide our players. We should leave to them and their professional judgment who are the best combinations for us. And the rest of us, we do our best to support them with everything that we can. President Akufuado promised to make time to watch Ghana's first match against Portugal in Qatar. We'll still stay at the Jubilee House because Cage Sports have also visited the, the Jubilee House and then they met with the Vice President to also introduce the new replica that is making rounds on the local scene. There's a new replica for everybody. You can, you can wait any day, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, any, any day. So let's go to the Jubilee House and, and also bring you an update in terms of what really transpired today. The team presented their newest product, which is set to be launched in the coming days to Dr. Baumia for his counsel on how to digitize the activities ahead of the World Cup and next year's African Games. Dr. Baumia was happy to receive the team, thanked them and assured them of government support for the industry and the need to digitize all sporting activities to help raise funds for the sports industry. He also used the opportunity to encourage Ghanaians to take up their fitness seriously by belonging to sports to keep a healthy body. K Sports is a sports marketing, manufacturing, athlete management, talent management, and fundraising and sponsorship company. We have customized casual Ghana wear replica for all occasions, especially for the World Cup, upcoming African Games, Friday, and corporate wear and national activities. Seven days more to the start of the FIFA World Cup. I have the nine in the house. Uh, you saw him no longer go with his team at the Flagstaff House. Uh, he, they went to present a replica jersey. No, Nana, welcome to my studios. <laughs> Thank this you. Is you. GBC Thank news. You. This is the, the hub, the, the, the pulse every morning. This place, you get it authentic. You don't see it anywhere here, down here. So um, we, you were at the Flagstaff House. Yes, sir. Okay. So for Ghanaians to know that it's really, please introduce yourself. Don't, don't let me talk. I know you are Nana. But no, I'm not Nana. Okay, okay, go ahead. Tell me what is I'm Kwame Lenica. Uh, I'm the CEO of K Sports. Okay. Uh, basically, what K Sports does, we do a lot. But currently, what we've brought into the market is that we have a K Sports wear, okay. which is a Ghana sports wear for all sporting activities in this country. Okay. You see, most of the things that we see in this country is centered on GFA and the Black Stars. So everything is about the Black Stars, the GFA. But there are about between 44 to 48 federations in this country which participate in sporting activities okay. under the NSA. But everybody knows GFA, 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 because the ways you see is GFA. We K-Sports believe that we need to take sports to the next level. Therefore, we need to have a brand that any Ghanaian who supports any sporting activities in this country can put up. Okay. So we have a, a jersey called Ghana Sports Jersey. Okay, so uh, whilst I'm, show me the Ghana jersey. So you I, went I, to... I, I, I came the, in today to put one on you. <laughs> so that by the time I leave this stage, you put this one on what you are wearing <laughs> for you to see the quality between what you are wearing. What you are wearing is, I don't think it's a replica jersey. And I don't think it's even a jersey. Don't worry about what I wear. It is a replica jersey. <laughs> so thank you. So show it to Ghana. So this was the jersey you, 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 you presented we to. We presented uh, this, uh, one to, this one to the vice president. And other ones to and the, the vice president. Oh, okay. So let me see what is written at the back. It says it's Ghana. Ghana. So... It is for all sports. It's for all sports. Okay. This is not a football centered. Okay. It is all sports. 48 okay. federations mm -hmm. and they're yet unborn sporting activities. Okay, so uh, let's see this. So this is color white. Yes. How many colors? Uh, we have three. Okay, which ones and which We ones? have the yellow. Mm -hmm. We have the uh, the red. Okay, so the red is the one you're wearing. 
I'm wearing the red. Okay. And I'm giving you the mm -hmm. white. And I have also yellow in the bag for you. Great. And Great. I want you to put it on right now on stage. I mean, our time is even running up. So how do you somebody get it? Where do we get it? Uh, if you need a copy, call me. You how say, do you what, get it? What, uh, my number is 0244. Okay. 406653. Okay. It's correct number. 0244 406653. Or you could also log on to uh, www.ksports, So okay. this is the highest quality you can find. So it's market. unisex. Unisex. Everybody can wear. The slim lady standing there. She's called Shelly. Shelly. She yes. likes the black star. She likes yes. arm wrestling. She likes volley. She likes swimming. I, I need a woman who supports 20. Teams and I'll dash her one. She's one of them. The brother she, plays, she has to prove to me. The brother plays rugby like nobody's business. And then I need to see the brother because we do sports management. Good, great. So viewers, there's it. So it's our counts down. And so this jersey, you see me wearing it tomorrow. I'll, I'll put it on for you to see. There are more jerseys out there. So uh, uh, Kwame, thank you very much. Uh, we wish you all the best. And then we hope that when more designs come, you pass by here and then uh, make us know. We don't do only sports wears. So do? I need more time with you For to explain to, to you what because as you yeah. speak, Swag uses our platform. Okay. The data system that Swag uses. There are so many that you are a member. Yes. It is designed by K Sports, powered it's, by K Sports. Okay, so this is a uh, build up uh, for the FIFA World Cup. And so as we've seen and them here, he'll be coming here more and more. He has more to talk about football and how we can make our football better and the World Cup. So that's our build up for today. It is March day. It is 27 days from tomorrow will be 26. When we come, we'll be talking more about the teams and then what you need to know about them. That's all for our build up for the World Cup. I'm here for the Sampa. Thank you very much, uh, Kwame, for passing through. And then thank you also for doing the watching. Return same time tomorrow. Bye for now.